Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. My name is Hanumant Latwa and in this video we are going to write a C program to find the frequency of presence of an element in an array. Here frequency means how many times the particular number has repeated in the given array. So let us write the preprocessor directives hash include in angular brace we will write standard input output dot h header file the next preprocessor directive is hash include in angular brace we will write console input output dot h header file now let us write wide main function curly open brace and here we are going to declare all the variables for example i am going to write uh, int a of 10 so this is array of size 10 next n i and element whose frequency is to be checked and next I'll take one more variable called count is set to value 0. Next we'll write CLR SCR function which is used to clear the screen. Now we will ask the user uh, how many elements. So we'll write printf statement and in a double quotation mark I'm going to write how many elements and the double quotation mark and put semicolon and we are going to receive the value from the user through keyboard using scanf statement in a double quotation mark you write percentage d and ampersand of n now we will ask the user to enter the elements using printf statement here i am going to write printf in a double quotation mark i am going to ask the user to enter the elements so backward slash n and put semicolon next we will insert each element at a time using for loop for i is equal to 0 i is less than n and i plus plus now we'll write scanf statement and here i'm going to write percentage d format specifier in a double quotation mark and put comma ampersand a of i and put semicolon now we have to ask the user to enter the elements whose frequency is to be checked right so for that again i have to write printf and in a double quotation mark i'll write enter the element whose frequency is to be checked end the double quotation mark and put semicolon now we will receive value from the user through keyboard using scanf statement in a double quotation mark we'll write percentage d and then put comma ampersand of ele that is element next put semicolon now we are going to iterate through the entire array from the first to last array so last element of array so i is equal to 0 i is less than n and then i plus plus here we are going to check the condition if the entered element is equal to a of i or not here i'm going to write count plus plus if this is true then the count has to increment uh, its value now i'm going to write printf statement here i'm going to write in a double quotation mark percentage d has appeared percentage d times in a double quotation mark I'll write element and then count put comma in a double quotation mark I'll write times so how many times it has appeared so next I'm going to write get ch function and curly closing brace so let us take an example uh, here I'm going to write output so when we compile and run this program it will ask the user to enter how many elements so here i'm going to write how many elements will be printed okay so for example i'm going to enter here 5 so here n is equated with value 5 next it is going to ask the user to enter the elements so it will ask the user to enter the elements so for example i'm going to enter 1 1 1 2 and for example okay yes so once i enter the five elements and then i'm going to press enter so here through this for loop so we are going to receive one character one number at a time through this scanf statement next 
so it is going to ask the user enter the element whose frequency is to be checked here it is going to print enter the element whose frequency is to be checked here i don't have space to write so that's the reason i have written here so it is displayed in a single line now i'm going to enter for example one so here clearly you can see how many times one has appeared one two three so it it should print one has appeared three times correct so here element is holding value one correct so here this is n and this is one correct next after receiving this element we have to iterate through this particular condition so for i is equal to zero for the first time and whenever i write elements in an array so it will be mapped in a memory something like this so whose index number is 0 1 2 3 and 4 now i is 0 for the first time and now we are going to check if element what is element 1 is equal to a of 0 so 1 is equal to 1 condition is true once the condition is true then count will be incremented so earlier it was equated with value 0 so once it is count plus plus then count is holding value 1 now it is holding value 1 so i'll write here count is equal to 1 because this is condition this condition is true so again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i value is 1 element is what 1 so is equal to a of 1 a of 1 consisting of what 1 again so 1 is equal to 1 hence condition is true once again the count will get incremented now it is 2 again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i value is 2 so element is what 1 so a of 2 consisting of what 1 element is 1 and a of 2 is also consisting of 1 1 is equal to 1 hence condition is true then count will get incremented by 1 once again so now it is 3 again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i is 3 so element is what 1 so a of 3 consisting of what 2 1 is not equal to 2 hence this particular counter will not get incremented again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i value is 4 element is what 1 a of 4 consisting of 2 1 is equal to 2 no condition fails once the condition fails then counter will not get incremented right so again control transfers to the for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i value is 5 so 5 is less than 4 sorry less than 5 no condition fails once the condition fails then this particular condition will not be checked and count will not get incremented so directly control comes out of the looping structure and it is going to print the next statement so what it is going to print here percentage d is associated with element means one has appeared one has appeared percentage d times that is count what is the value of count latest value of count is three so one has appeared three times will be printed i hope you understood this program so let us execute this program for that i will take you to my laptop screen here you can see i have already written this program in turbo c integrated development environment let us compile this program by pressing alt f9 so it is showing success that means there is no syntax error now i'm going to press enter let us execute this program by pressing control f9 here you can see it is asking the user to enter how many elements now i'm going to enter five and here it is asking the user to enter the elements i'm going to enter the elements as one 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 two and then two now it is asking the user to enter the element whose frequency is to be checked now i'm going to enter one so you can observe that one has appeared three times now i'm going to press enter here you can see it is displaying one has appeared three times i hope you understood this program if so please write down in the comment box as understood. Thank you.